Good evening, boys and girls. Tonight we're going to do another bedtime book review, and we are reading Good Morning, Good Night, a Touch and Feel Bedtime Book by Annie Alexander, illustrated by Melanie Mitchell. You see it's a touch and feel book. Can you pet the lamb? Ooh, soft. All right, let's begin. Good morning, little kitten. How will you start your day? Here's a basket full of yarn. I think you want to play. Good night, little kitten. Lay down your sleepy head. You've had a playful day, and cat. now it's time for bed. You're right, cat. that's a cat. Very good. Can you show how soft? Yes, all right, let's turn the page. This way, and this way. Good morning, little puppy. How does your day begin? Dig, dig, dig a big, big hole and plop that bone right in. Good night, little puppy. Don't you make a peep. You romped and ran for hours, and now it's time to sleep. Pet the puppy. Can you say dog? Can you say puppy? Not today? <laughs> All right, let's turn the page. Good morning, little bunny. Are you hungry for a treat? Here are lots of crunchy carrots. How many will you eat? Good night, little bunny. The moon is on the rise. Find a cuddle buddy and gently close your eyes. All right, let's turn. Good morning, little chick. Would you like to say hello to the flowers and the worms wiggling in the grass below? Good night, little chick. Snuggle in your cozy nest. Your day has been so busy, and now it's time to rest. Soft. No birdie? Birdie. Birdie. Good morning, little lamb. Look up, the sky is blue. Time to prance and leap for joy. The day is bright and new. No. Good night, little lamb. Curl up and softly yawn. It's time for peace and quiet on the warm and comfy lawn. Can you put the lammy? Yeah. Very good. Soft huh? Can you turn the page? Here we go. Good morning, little one. What fun today will bring. Birds will tweet and twitter as you sing and laugh and swing. Good night, little one. Stars will twinkle in the sky as you swing upon a moonbeam in the land of Hushabai. Can you put the baby to bed? Put the blanket on the baby? Good night. <laughs> you don't like to sleep with blankets, do you? Can we put the blanket over? Good night. baby with your teddy bear. Very good. So this is a really cute little story. Simple, not a lot of plot obviously, um, but I really like the touch and feel books. They're really fun to get interactive with and she definitely enjoys petting the different animals as we flip through. Um, and so she really does like that. I think the um, the flaps are actually, they work, they work great. I was surprised how quickly she was able to learn how to use them um, and then she's kind of forgotten since then. What? What? Can you pet the bunny? The drawback to the touch and feel is there's actually really only two textures. There's one page with the bunny, or not even the bunny, with the lamb, sorry, that has like this woolen texture but the rest are all sort of a soft, um, I don't know, you call that minky I guess. Um, so they're just different animals, but there's not different textures, like with a, um, a Pat the Bunny kind of a book, which, um, I would probably do an episode of this on Pat the Bunny sometime, because that's a classic as well. Um, and then the other drawback is the last page here where you have the baby in bed, and the little blanket here, you notice it kind of, it connects on this corner, 
So if you try to pull at it, we already have a little bit of ripping here, unfortunately. It's definitely like, yeah, let's yank this off um, if you've got a strong little, little toddler. She really does not like being under blankets, which I think is why she doesn't want to tuck the baby in. Huh, careful, don't want to rip it. All right, let's put the baby to bed. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, which page do you want to read? Okay, the end. Okay, you go run and play, okay? Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> so the story, if there is one, of good morning, good night, good morning, good night. The first time I read it, I thought it was a little bit bipolar, but it keeps flipping back and forth. But it doesn't bother me so much anymore. I think the rhymes are really cute. So um, this is actually a book that she was given as a gift oh, from a cousin who, it was her favorite book. Um, yeah, or sorry, it was his, I think, so. favorite bedtime book. And so it was a great recommendation, and we really enjoyed ourselves too. Yeah. So I would recommend picking this one up if you're looking for a fun, flat, touch and feel kind of a book. Thank you to Andrews for joining me today. And I'll see you next month for another bedtime book review. So if you have any suggestions for books that I should cover, leave those in comments below and I will get to those in due time. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.